Hello! Next week we have a feast day coming up for a very well-known saint, Saint Demetrius of Thessaloniki. Saint Demetrius lived from about 270 to 306 AD. He was a successful military commander who was imprisoned because of his faith in Christ. In the Vespers and Matin services for this day, there are many hymns about St. Demetrius. One of the purposes of the hymns in these services is to teach us about the saint or the feast of the day. It can be very helpful to read the lives of the saints before attending these services. That can help us to understand these hymns even better. So before I share a hymn about St. Demetrius, I'll tell you about the most well-known event from his life. While St. Demetrius was imprisoned for his faith, there was a champion gladiator named Lieus. Lieus was known for his strength and his size, and many people attended the games to watch his competitions to the death. The Emperor Maximian offered a reward for anyone who would defeat the champion Lieus. A young Christian man named Nestor wanted to fight Lieus in order to humble the Emperor's pride and to proclaim that power belongs to Christ alone. He went to Demetrius in prison and asked for his blessing to fight Lieus. When he faced the giant in the amphitheater, he cried out, God of Demetrius, help me, and he killed Lieus with one blow. The emperor was incensed, and instead of rewarding Nestor, he ordered him to be beheaded and for St. Demetrius to be killed with a spear. In the Apolitikion of St. Demetrius, you'll hear about Lieus and Nestor. All the world has you, its mighty champion, fortifying us in times of danger, and defeating our foes, O victorious one. So as you humbled Leos's arrogance by giving courage to Nestor in the stadium, the so holy great martyr Demetrius to Christ our God pray fervently, beseeching him to grant us his great mercy. I'm not looking to fight in a stadium anytime soon, and I'm sure you're not either. But we all can take a lesson from Saints Demetrius and Nestor, a lesson to be bold in our faith and to have confidence that God will give us the strength to fight whatever battles we face. In the 13th chapter of the book of Hebrews, St. Paul says, Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. What's a cloud of witnesses? It's all those Christians who've gone before us, acting as our examples, courageous saints like St. Demetrius and St. Nestor. Thanks for joining me today. See you again next time.